If you log into Warzone right now, you might see this message, TPM status not enabled. This is because there's a new requirement for you to play Warzone and also Black Ops 7. The moment Black Ops 7 is released, and if you don't have TPN and Secure Boot enabled, you won't be able to play the game at all. So in this video, I'm gonna guide you on how to enable the setting. Firstly, click on your Windows Start icon and start typing MS Info. You want to be looking for the secure boot state and make sure it's enabled or turned on. If it's not, it'll say turn off and you have to enable it. Before you can enable secure boot though, you need to check your BIOS mode here and make sure it's UEFI. If it's not, it could be that you're using an older motherboard, which unfortunately you can't turn on secure boot. However, for some older motherboards, there's a workaround and way to do it. You just have to Google your motherboard name and try to search on how to enable secure boot for your particular motherboard. All right, here are the steps to enable secure boot on your PC. Just go to Windows Start and start typing Advanced Startup. Now you want to be clicking on Change Advanced Startup options. A small window will pop up under Advanced Startup. You just want to click on Restart Now. After that, your computer will restart and your screen will turn blue. And now you just want to click on the Troubleshoot option. And then go ahead and click on advanced options. And right after that, click on the UEFI firmware settings. Your computer will restart once again, and this time it will show you the BIOS setting page. You can access this page by pressing F2 as well while the BIOS is loading during startup. So once again, it'll be depending on your computer and motherboard. I'm using Asus right here. And if you're having issues to find the options on your motherboard, best to just search on how to enable secure boot on your particular motherboard model. But generally, you want to be clicking on the advanced mode, and then you want to be clicking on boot, and right after that, click on secure boot, and you just want to make sure it's enabled. If it's not, just enable it and then save. Just exit BIOS and just save your settings. So that's a quick guide, nice and easy. If we help you, don't forget to hit that like and also subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.